Hi, my name is Nick Myers. Today we're going to talk about inserting a graphic file onto a web page. Images come in a variety of file types. JPEG is probably the most common of them. TIFF and Bitmap are also used, but with their increased file size, they're not as ideal for a web page. GIFs are also used, but they're reserved generally for animated pictures, such as a bouncing email icon that you might see in a web page. Today we're going to be using a program called Composer to add an image to a web page. We'll click on the image button at the top, find where you have the picture stored on the computer, arrange it properly on the page in regards to the text wrapping, possibly add a border, and once we do that we'll be able to resize the picture to your liking. So let's go ahead and do that. Now go ahead and select just about on the right line where you want to have your picture. Once you do that, go ahead and click on the image button at the top of the screen. Under the location tab in the image location section you should see a folder at the very end of the line. You want to go ahead and click on that folder button. You'll need to navigate to the folder that holds your image. Once you do that go ahead and select the picture you want to use and hit open. There's an alternate text section here and that's reserved for handicap accessibility. Go ahead and put some text in there. In my case, I'm going to write sunset, as that's what the picture represents. Under the dimensions section, if you know how to work with pixels, you're, you can go ahead and make it a custom size there, but it's much easier to do this later. Under the appearance section, you can change the alignment of the text in regards to the image. I'm just going to leave mine alone here for right now. Once you're satisfied with that, you can go ahead and hit OK. Now, for a lot of people, the image is going to be extremely large. What you'll need to do is do a single left click on it. You may need to scroll over a little bit to see the other part of the image, and you'll notice a white box located at some of the corners and halfway across the sides of the picture you can go ahead and hold down your left mouse button while clicking and dragging the picture to a smaller size. In my case I want to make it so that it's about the size of that. And since I like that I'm pretty satisfied with it. I'm gonna stick with it. You can go ahead and play around with this some more and if you want to edit the location at any time of the picture all you need to do is right click on the picture and go down to image properties. Hopefully you found this video useful and I look forward to seeing some more videos produced. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.